Hi, this is Morley, and this is the MYR. Well, folks, as we well know, the north face of La Palma has collapsed, and it is causing a lot of devastation to property. It's forcing even more people to evacuate their homes, and this is turning into a very, very bad situation very fast. I'm trying not to be alarmist here, but at the same time, I don't want to water down what is happening on the island of La Palma. I think that would be giving a disservice to a great many people, and that's something that I simply refuse to do. In this update, I'm going to be talking about what's currently happening on the island, as well as I'm going to talk about something that I quite frankly don't really want to talk about but if I didn't talk about it it would be clearly a stage of of denial and I refuse to do that so be sure to stay tuned for that so the result of the collapse that happened has resulted in a lot of new lava flows they're going in various directions uh, the lava map is just it's just a flurry of lava pretty much in every direction Needless to say, it's rendered plenty of destruction in its, in its wake. It's absolutely terrible what's happening there. I can't help but to feel for these people that have to leave their homes and have no choice but to just watch their house be devoured by lava like so many before them. The only good news as of recent is that the wind has shifted and that the ash is now blowing out to sea and now the airport has reopened but like I say we've seen this before that the airport is reopened and then it closes again because the wind changes so at least for the interim that's a good thing that the airport is now open and people could leave the island if they so choose by air a new river of lava belched on Saturday from the La Palma volcano Creating more destruction on the Atlantic Ocean Island where more than a thousand buildings have already been engulfed or badly damaged by streams of molten rock. The partial collapse of the volcanic cone overnight gave birth to a new lava stream that started to follow a similar path down the Cumbre Vieja Ridge toward the western shore of the island to the ocean. Authorities said the new lava flow is within the area that was hastily evacuated following the September 19th eruption when 6,000 residents were forced to flee their homes and farms. Police let residents whose homes could now be in danger make trips to save what they could. Trucks entering the exclusion zone empty Saturday and left with mattresses, furniture and other belongings. Emergency official Miguel Angel Morquende said experts were closely watching the delta of new land and being formed off the island's coast since the main lava flow reached the sea last week. He said that parts of it could collapse, causing explosions and large waves, but that would not pose a danger since the immediate area was already evacuated. A total of 1,186 buildings have been destroyed on La Palma, and 497 hectares have been covered with lava since Saturday, according to the European Union's Copernicus Emergency Management Service. La Palma's airport was operational again after being closed for days due to volcanic ash. This island is part of Spain's Canary Islands and archipelago off northwest Africa and is a popular vacation destination for European tourists. So for the most part, the new lava flows are affecting areas that have already been evacuated, but not unilaterally. There are still a lot of people of, that are basically have to evacuate now and have to leave their homes and just get what they can out of their homes and, and leave, unfortunately. Like this eruption is just getting increasingly worse. Now the earthquake activity is intense as per usual these days on La Palma, unfortunately. As you can see at the very top when I'm making this video, they just had a 4.2 earthquake. So it's getting to the point where they are having a 4.0 or greater earthquake on the daily. Folks, this is not a good sign. Not at all. The situation on La Palma is nothing less than exacerbating by the day. To say anything other than that would be an absolute and blatant fallacy. 
which brings us to the part of the video that I really don't want to talk about but folks um, to not talk about it would basically be me putting my head in the sand and I just refuse to do that let's get into it so this map that you're looking at basically denotes uplift on the island of La Palma in the last 24 hours the red areas that you see there that big red area that has lifted 10 centimeters that's approximately three inches or so in the last 24 hours folks what is located in that area is the big volcano that directly implies that lava is trying to come out of the big volcano now folks I'm not saying that it's going to like I say I cannot predict the future but I'm not gonna not report this okay that is very serious now you can see in the southern part of the island there there's also bits of red and orange that's basically where all the earthquakes are happening so that's not good either and then you see the uh, northwestern part in blue that means that part of the island is now sinking into the water so it's basically a teeter-totter parts of the island are being depressed into the water the the main part there in the north is raised 10 centimeters in a mere 24 hours folks this is absolutely flabbergasting I'm not even kidding you so you see on this map here where the volcano is erupting and the lava is going towards the sea it's obviously reached the sea so this is an older map but you see that big crater on the northern part of the island there that is where the uplift is happening now that big crater there is a volcano in itself the volcano that we see erupting right now that's just a small one okay that's just as you go up the mountain but if that goes obviously folks there's no delicate way to put this if that goes there will be nothing left alive on the island of La Palma I wish I could report differently but folks this is getting very 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 serious and that's not being alarmist anyone who doesn't take this situation seriously if you live in the east coast of the United States you should certainly should be taking this seriously at this point I'm not saying to go run for the hills right now but folks you definitely need to monitor this situation that is the soundest advice that anyone is going to give you today okay because if if the southern half of the island breaks off it will cause a mega tsunami that will wipe out the entire eastern seaboard of the United States and probably other places but the eastern seaboard of the United States will be a water park I don't mean to be facetious but I'm just saying folks take a look at this map here of what would be projected if a mega tsunami happened so this is a projected map of what the United States would look like if the mega tsunami happened notice that Florida is completely underwater and there's all the eastern seaboard within you know 50 or 100 miles is underwater as well folks if you live in these places you need to take this situation very seriously at this point like I say I am trying my best not to instill fear here but by the same token with everything that is happening on the island of La Palma it would be nothing less than foolish of you to not at least have a bug out bag a full tank of gas because you will have less than eight hours to get away from the coast of the United States and believe me the authorities will not notify you until it's well well too late that's all I'm saying folks I'm not trying to instill fear I just want you to live to tell the tale if the worst happens it's better to be prepared than to not be prepared it's just like why you have insurance you hope you don't need it but you certainly are glad when something happens that you have it 
Well, thank you for coming along with me to my update. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. People need to find out about this, folks. So many people are oblivious to this situation, and they need to become aware because their life may very well depend on it. Thank you so much, and God bless.